alleged criminal caught in the most unlikely way, a picture of a golfer scoring a hole in one is all the evidence police needed to arrest a South Florida man accused of manslaughter. Investigators say the suspect who is from Weston fatally attacked an elderly man in Central Florida. And local 10 Sarah Onwar is live in Weston right now with the details. So Christy, Janice, how police found this guy is a really interesting story. This is a really disturbing crime that happened in Central Florida, but the suspect, he previously lived in this Weston neighborhood. A smiling photo that would crack a case. Robert Moore celebrating a hole in one on a golf course in Central Florida. For police, this photo would be their big break. Detectives had been searching for a man who attacked an 87 year old man during a traffic dispute, circulating these surveillance images of their suspect. Police got a tip and with a Google image search, they found this photo of Moore. It looks like he's wearing the same clothes as the day of the crime. It happened in late June. Moore allegedly assaulted 87 year old Dean Zook. Moore mistakenly accused Zook of hitting his car. Police say Moore then punched Zook several times. His injuries were severe. He suffered brain bleeding and died from those injuries weeks later. People who would go to this physical length to harm somebody in their 80s and beat them so badly, they ultimately died, clearly have impulse and anger management issues of some sort. Moore's latest mugshot after police booked him on charges of aggravated manslaughter on an elderly person. Detectives also used credit card statements and surveillance video as evidence. Records show Moore and the victim lived nearby one another. And records also show Moore moved from this Weston neighborhood to Central Florida a few years ago. He is now out of jail on a $15,000 bond. Reporting live in Weston, Syrah Onwer, Local 10 News. All right, Syrah.